Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy video. A few of you guys actually really enjoy the videos where I build uh, certain things, so like, I don't know, weapons and stuff. This is going to be one of those videos where we build a random weapon, and it's actually going to be a mortar system. So hopefully we actually are going to have reloadable mortars that we can actually put onto the system, fire, and see if that works. So we just need a little uh, tripod thing, and then we need the mortars. So let's do it and see what this actually turns out to be. Hey! Okie dokie, so I just thought about it a tiny bit in my head. We need a pivot uh, straight away. We're actually going to go with one of these. There we go. That'll allow us to actually turn the thing around, and that's epic. We're going to have it set up on the ground automatically. There we go. So this, this, and also uh, this on the back end. Uh, just like that. Excellent. And then we actually need another one of these turned off to the side uh, that will hopefully work as well. Except we're going to put it off to the side again. Uh, actually, even more than that. There we go, like this. There we go, excellent. And we're going to attach this to there. Excellent. So this is the separate piece. We're then going to get ourselves a track, um, like this one. Da, 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 da. Like this one, and we're going to do something like this. Okie dokie, excellent. This is good. And we're going to do something like that. Very nice. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and stop it just like this. Very nice. Okay, so this is our mortar system. We're going to get ourselves a throttle lever, uh, just like this one, and we're going to put it right there. Okay, good. And we're also going to go ahead and put another one next to it, uh, like this. Okay, so one of them turns it, and the other one uh, obviously makes it go up and down. So attach this to here, uh, which is left and right. Attach this one to here, and there we go. Excellent. This should work. We then need a battery, so let's go ahead and put one of those over here. Excellent. And attach it directly to it. Okay, cool. Move it down, move it forwards, and move it across so that we can actually be really close to it. And see what happens there. Alright, so spawn it in. I am almost dead, but don't worry about that. Go ahead and lift it up. Excellent. And go ahead and move it side to side. That is actually... Totally... That totally works. No, this is great, actually. This is really good. So we need a minus number on this one. So it actually goes to the left and the right. Minus one. And there we go. This one doesn't need to go down the other way. So this is perfect. Our mortar system has started. This is brilliant. Okay, so now we actually need to come up with actual mortars. So this is going to be the, the sort of tricky bit. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put them off to the sides. There we go. And we need to make a bunch of them. So we need a warhead. That is possibly the most important bit. There we go. Good. Warhead installed. We need a handle so that we can actually lift the warhead onto the actual place we need it to be. We then need to lift this up a few, delete these two. We need a gripper so that it will actually go onto the track, which is this. All right, so delete this, I guess. Yeah, sure. We then need a number. Uh, number. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Where is it? Number. Constant number? No, it's the other way around. It's an on signal. There we go. An on signal to go here. Excellent. We then need a booster. Uh, which is just going to be a single one of these. However, we also need a battery. Oh god, there's a lot to this actually. We need a battery per mortar. Uh, which kind of sucks actually, to be honest. Yeah, it does. Can I lift a hard point? Hang on, hard point. Can I grab one of these? Is that possible? Like, am I actually able to lift one of those? I don't know. Uh, button, let's go ahead and attach one of these two here, like so. Excellent. Actually, the other way around. Very nice. And then a booster on the back of there. So, booster... Bam. Excellent. Right, so attach this to here. Alright, cool. Attach this to here. Attach this to here, and we should be good to go. With that being said, the arm, this needs to be like five or something. There we go. Alright, cool. So spawn this in. I, I should probably spawn myself in a first aid kit. One second. First aid kit. Let's do this. There you go, first aid kit. Whack that direct under there. I guess it's 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 okay to have this here. That's fine. All right, spawn it in. So we're going to heal ourselves up using this. Bam, bam. Good. We're then going to try and grab this using this piece. And load it onto the machine. Oh, this is going to be more difficult than I thought. Way more difficult than I thought, guys. Okay, so we need this to turn around fully. There we go. Excellent. We need to lift it up and put it on. This is way di more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Put it on the track. 
I wanted it to be reloadable, and this is how I thought it would work. I thought the gripper would just grab it, but it's not. The gripper is not grabbing. Why isn't it? Why Why isn't the gripper grabbing? I thought it was supposed to. There we go, it's on. Okay, so pretty difficult to load, but it is on. So now we do this. We turn the whole thing around. So we're aiming out there. And then we just launch it. Well, that didn't work, actually. Turns out that didn't work. Okie dokie. So instead of the whole loading process, I've actually spawned in three here. We've also got the extra one on there. Uh, I've edited it a little bit so that it won't explode quite as uh, easily. But let's go ahead and stand back anyway and go. It just exploded really easily anyway. I don't know why. It's just exploding straight away. That's really weird. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've actually changed this to 20. I'm actually going to lower this down to 15. We're going to test it out and then we can change the other ones to whatever we need it to be. So let's go ahead and lift this up and fire. Okay, so that didn't work and I actually died. Okay, amazing. Um, I hope they didn't actually test stuff like this out in real life like this. Because that would suck. That'd be really bad. But anyway, let's lift this up to like 20. There we go. Excellent. Spawn it in. See what happens. It might just be that it needs angling up more. I'm not sure. Go. Okay, so that worked. And then it should just fall out the sky eventually and blow up. Hopefully. Alright, here we go. We should see it. I, I do see it. It's just there. It's just there in front of me. And... Yeah, no, it works. Okay, cool. So then you would load the next one like this. Bit tricky. Very, very extremely tricky to do it's very 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 tricky to do hang on there we're loaded okay excellent so you load them like that and then you just launch it oh wait the, okay those ones weren't edited okay that makes sense so it needs to be 20 the impact and that'll be good excellent no we know what we're doing now we know what we're doing yeah it's because this one was actually 10 instead of 20 and that's the reason it exploded but uh, let's say you just had a bunch of these and you could load them quicker than I'm currently loading them That would be epic. That would be really really cool. And yeah, it's just a little mortar system So you, you can aim it upwards. You can actually aim it to the side if you need to uh, to the other side if you need to uh, you can You can lift it back up if you need to and I don't know whether this will work. Yeah, there you go You can launch it at different angles too and that's excellent. There you go. Nice. That's sick. Just a little tripod with um Explosive capabilities. Boom. There we go. Nice. No, this is sick. I like it. I wish it was easier to load it onto it, so I'm not sure how I want to deal with that. But I think this is cool. All right, so with that being said, let's just try and load this one. So get behind. There we go. Go ahead and put it on there like... Like that, I guess. Okay, that didn't work. All right, push it over to the other side. Maybe this will be better, actually. And then bring it back over. Land it on the top. There we go. Excellent. Oh, it fell over forwards because it's a tripod. But you know what? That's fine. That's okay. It just takes some time to actually load it. But other than that, look at it. It's good. Woohoo! Nice. With that being said as well, maybe it would actually be easier to load it if it was flat. I don't know. Let's get behind it real quick. No, that doesn't work. I can't actually stand behind it. Lift it up. Bring it over. Put it on the top. There we go. Excellent. Push it on. Move it sideways. And then push it again. Ah! Oh, this is so annoying. It should just it should just attach, but it's not. Alright, here we go. There. Oh, that was so close. Come on. One more attempt. We might just need an extra handle. And I guess that would be okay. It's fine to do that. So push this this way. Oh, it's almost on. Yeah! What a good reload technique. This is brilliant. Okay, and then we turn the whole thing around and we launch it. Woo! Nice! Oh, where's it gone? <laughs> it seems to go straight up. It's, it's amazing, actually. It's really cool. But, um, yeah, so if you actually use this, um, it, it's just really tricky to reload, but other than that, it works. Look, it exploded there. That's cool. I like it. That's nice. We need, like, a bit of a ballistics computer for this, though, and I, I don't really have one, so that's a problem. But, um, I guess that's okay. Let's go ahead and change all of the colors to be green. Uh, it is a military thing, so I guess that makes sense. And 
yeah, it's all good. It's actually all good. It didn't take as long to build one. Um, it's just the whole loading system needs to be a little bit better. But anyway, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys do actually like these random weapon creation videos, I've got more sort of like that I can do. Um, so yeah, if you want to see more of these random videos, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see what I can do. But anyway, for now, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.